in the shadows of the Andes lies an isolated Argentinian village. Hi, I'm Matt, and welcome to another edition of Borders on Budgets. On this episode, we are in El Chalten, Argentina, where we will take a walk through and around this pueblo. Wedged into a valley nestled beside the Andes, El Chalten's population is about 3,000. It is the only population center within a three-hour radius, and that includes neighboring Chile. With a population of only 3,000, it can't be difficult to find houses or other addresses in El Chaltan, although having a Casa Rosa certainly distinguishes this property from others. Because of El Chaltan's isolation, the village's sole purpose is to serve as a base for hikes into the local Andes. The highest summit in the area is Mount Fitzroy, at an elevation of 3,400 meters. I was aware that El Chalten is a small village with not a whole lot going on. However, this announcement at the bus depot is promoting next week's pet castration. That it's at the bus station suggests that it's an event welcome for all to see. How did I miss this on TripAdvisor? This afternoon's hike will be an easier one. After meandering through El Chalten, it's three kilometers to Chorillo del Salto and its waterfalls. That mountain in the background, that is called Cerro Solo, translated as only hill. Its elevation, a paltry 2,000 meters. Here's a cute establishment, a parrilla, the traditional Argentinian grill on which to cook meat. Upon first glance, it looked like the name of this restaurant is Como Ça Va, French for How Are You? Then, upon a closer inspection, its real name is Como Vaca, meaning eat cow. I'm sure Gary Larson would be thrilled to know his work has been appropriated in rural Argentina. I wonder if that pet castration is extended to strays. Where the pavement ends in El Chalten, nature begins. The three kilometer hike to Chorillo del Salto starts here. El Chalten is located in Los Glaciares, Parque Nacional, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. that I've already taken a film photograph of this guy and he's still hanging around. Well, I will thank him for his patience. I see the trail for the bike. I see the trail for the pedestrians. But where's the trail for the horse? Oh. On what has been an unseasonably warm day in the southern Andes, perhaps, uh, perhaps this flannel shirt has been a little too much on a 20 degree day. But after four weeks in southern Argentina and the Patagonia region, I, uh, I never know what the weather will bring. What I do know is that for those who are hiking and camping in Mount Fitzroy at an altitude of over 3,000 meters, they, they will endure sub-zero temperatures once the sun falls. Huh, the, uh, the sign at the Cascades says contemplation area. 
contemplation area. That would be a that would be a polite way of telling visitors to uh, to shut up. Breaking the silence along the Chorillo del Salta Trail is this 20 meter waterfall. So what have I been contemplating in this contemplative area at the end of the Chorillo del Salta Trail? Well, how to end this story. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of Borders on Budgets. A reminder, Borders on Budgets, long distance hikes, slices of life, not a lot of money. From El Chalten, Argentina, in Los Glaciares Parque Nacional, I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Ooh, tunnel! It's a tunnel! Oh, how neat! Woo, woo! Then, upon a closer inspection, it is named Como Vaca, meaning eat beef. I'm sure Gary Larson... Did you like this episode? Good! Help Borders on Budgets. Hit the subscribe button below and there's also a link to a previous story about glaciers.